All right, Ben, it's time. You see a few tweets being read there in the denial booth. Can't let it get to your head, though. You're only up 2-0. Can they finish 3-0 with a clean sweep over Curse Black? It's looking really good for them, I'm not going to lie. They, they have that momentum, and they just need to now close it out. Something that you see a couple of teams struggle with, just closing out series. Going to Blitz, it's known as the momentum shifter on Call of Duty Ghost. It's must win now for Curse. They they cannot afford to lose this, otherwise they will go down to the loser bracket, join the two European teams, Epsilon and TCM, who sadly lost earlier on today. They're already down there. And Curse, I mean, I just feel like they just need a complete different shift of mentality. Right Maybe we should just cheer for Curse. You think that'll work? I, well, I feel like I'm cursed, so I should probably cheer for them now. Do you feel like anyone out there will be cheering for Curse? I hear like 17 people all at once. It's getting <laughs> exciting over here. How many of you guys think Denial will finish this 3-0? A big, big proportion of the crowd. How many of you think that Curse can bring it back? All right, it's actually about 50-50 here. Let's get things right. started with this Curse squad. We're already into the Blitz game, and it's 1-0 off the break. Denial, they're going to watch Enable score in their bases. He picks up the two-piece. As that's actually going to be two out. Reverse. There we go. Flips around. You got Mochilla and Enable, both with a cap each. 45 seconds already gone in the game, and Enable is clearly emotional after <laughs> losing two maps, starting off four and out. Two caps to his name. Seven point streak in the first 60 seconds of the game. Enable's got to look out to his left, but also on that mini map, you can see two more Curse players inside the base. Let's go to Mochilla as he's trying to score. He won't be able to get through. The enemy will go at his base, so it's going to be 4-1 after just a minute, 10 seconds. Enable setting up the cap, and he's not even gonna need to go through. He's gonna let Burns score this one. And Burns, after getting the cap, is gonna have some defense work to do as Mochila will fall. Now this is gonna be important plays here from Burns. Just needs to just stay up, see if they can push out of that base by slaying. That's gonna be the big thing. They don't want to turn, so the front door opens. Enable picks up a kill on the right-hand side. Now Burns. Just going to shut that front door. Is he going to push out? Yes, he is. But they have lost a cap. The assist comes in, but there's still one player from Denial. This is actually going to be Knockside, who's going to pick spotted. up the gun. No, he doesn't. Tipsy turns around. Managed to pick up that. Enable has pushed underground. Seven and one. Three caps to kick off this Blitz game. And that was really a nice exchange by Curse. Although they did let one go through, they just instantly punished. And now you got Mochiwa doing a solid job locking down that left side. He finally falls. Burns pushing out on the right with Enable, constantly putting pressure down the middle. Yeah, good stuff from him. Enable still in the middle of the map. Just going to try and clean up. Player actually the opposite side of that train. He's going to look. pre oh! misses the knife. That's it looked good to me, man. Oh, so close. It reminds me of uh, Apathy's knifing spree earlier on where he stood directly <laughs> behind a player, missed him three or four times, Take finally cleaned up. Bit. Could have been the biggest fail I've ever seen in my life, to be completely honest with you, but managed to somehow get the kill. Enable back on defense, though. Uh -oh. it. He is going to get taken out, and this could be a good push now for now. Oh, big stop, So Tipsy and Mochila oh, no. each get a two-piece, all four down. Clear map, free cap. Here comes Mochila down the gut. And you're going to have some protection on that left side from Tipsy trying to set up the spawn trap. They haven't managed to get that cap just yet. They do have map control. Now can they try and get the spawn kills? Slaying the enemy's base. Tipsy runs it in. Nice stuff from him. Burns still in a position to try and potentially get a relay here. But he is going to need to pick up that kill first. He's actually avoided it. Two seconds. If he knee slides, he is going to get the cap. Does so. So Curse extending that lead back to six now with a minute 50 as Tipsy just apparently can see through walls. That was... Impressive. Yeah, he spotted a foot and he executed it. And there's another big kill as Tipsy is turning it up. He's now on a five screen. You said that's the hype man for the squad. Keep your eye on him. Are they able to feed off this momentum in our first four minutes? They are crushing 9-2, 90 seconds to go, still on our first half. And right now you have three curse plays with 10 kills, double digits already. A minute and a half left. Burns not far behind on eight. And it is just that slaying category, which really is opening up the map a lot. However, Denial have played that smart. They have one player who has just waited for Curse to push up. It's going to be legal. He is going to slide the sneak through. Now reducing the deficit to six. However, Enable is there to put it right back to seven. Really having a sensational game right now, Bucket. Down seven. How do you come back? Because we've seen it a few times, but it's very rare after five plus caps that, I mean, a, that a team is able to mount that comeback. Going back to that phase game, yeah. 
Space had a seven cap lead in, in the replay. Right. They had a five cap lead in, in the original uh, game of Blitz Freight, and then it was obviously the replay. They had seven in the second map, and it's very, very hard, but I mean, we saw TCM pretty much do it. They got a little bit unfortunate, and FaZe obviously were able to, to come out on top of that. But it, I think, to be honest, it's just a, a mental thing. You know, you need to get your head right. You need to make sure that you're not thinking about, oh, we're so far behind, we're not going to be able to do it. You need to make sure you play solid defense as well. Because something Rambo pointed out was when you have that much of a lead, all you have to do is overextend. Shots going down in all directions. Burns trusting his teammate to get the kill. They do, and that will end the round at 11-4, as it doesn't look like anyone's going to be in position to score. Tipsy, can he get there? Three seconds, not going to happen. So, six point lead going into the half for Curse. We need to build upon that hype. You doing some Golden Boy counting right now? I did do some Golden Boy seven. Good, man. It's good. Don't yeah. worry about that. That's my bad. Seven points. Not a big difference here, but seven is the magic number seven. here yeah. for Denial. They got to mount this comeback. Otherwise, we're going to see another yeah. domination. And it's once again a losing record on Sovereign Dom, which would be game number four. Here we go. Can Curse Black stay alive? We're going to the Captain Tipsy. Tipsy trying to get the team hyped, that's for sure. 16 and 10, big difference compared to that last search and destroy we saw where he wasn't really playing at his best or at his full potential, that's for sure. He's starting things off by a sneaky underground push. He's going to shoot that gate, but Done. no one from Denial adapting, and he is going to get the cap and, and, and punish them really for that. Nice plays here from Curse Black. There is a player going to score for Denial, but Tipsy keeping this one going. He's going to have a teammate in the base. It looks like actually that's a... Gonna be, can't get to him in time, it was Burns going through there. Yep, and this is, again, what Rambo was, was saying, when you have such a big lead in inputs, all you need to do is, is keep pushing. You, know, you don't need to necessarily rotate back to your base. As long as you can trade cap to cap, it will be okay. And it, it just makes the team that's trailing's life so much harder. Now Tipsy has a big defensive stance to go oh, for. Zuma really heating up five points, 19 and 15. So he's challenging for the most kills in the lobby right now, two caps as well. Right on him, I think he could be the star of the Denial comeback. Zuma has been my player to watch from the get-go for this Denial squad. Such an incredible slayer. And you really need to start turning up the slay game if you want to get back in this blitz. Three minutes, 40 seconds left, so still quite a bit of time. There is a massive deficit, though, to overcome. Seven caps is not an easy feat here on blitz unless you can set up a spawn trap and keep the relays coming. Zuma trying to make players double back to the base. All they got to do, though, is really stop the bleeding because it feels like every time someone from Curse Black is able to sneak by just like and just that. put this game further and further away. Yep, Burns did a great job of just pretty much running straight down the middle of the map, picking up a kill and sliding in for a cap because obviously now so focused on aggression. Sometimes forget about that defensive play. A couple of kills now for Curse as well. So that is going to open up the map a little bit, allow Burns to push further forward. As a player, just trying to hunt him down to take his time. He should be able to wait long enough for his teammate I'll let support, you shoot but no. Nope. You good? His teammates all oh, actually going down. He's going to leave Moach by himself, and nearly actually got turned on there. Wouldn't have been too good. Does go down, and again, Denal doing pretty decent on, on the defensive side. But now they just need to turn that around into aggression, and they just need to try and lock down Curse. They need to go for spawn traps. Sneak caps right now not going to work. They need. To get Curse in a spawn trap. Yeah, you need to see a stranglehold here. We'll but it's, it's so hard to do that when you have Zuma with 23 kills and no one else, you know, above 13. Yeah, we got that nine. Remember, this is the guy that was really shining in the previous games, not doing his best when it comes to blitz at double negative vexed. Not much better at 12 and 21. He's gonna try and get some things going. There's a two piece in his base, and it looks like Zuma once again. Being that lead slayer picks up another big win. He's got three players in the base, though, calls it out. Vex trying to help. Both players falling. It's now legal, and Noxide's turn, and they're just running in one by one and dying. So Noxide needs to play this smart. His teammates have all gone down. Curse is going to be looking for him. And if he plays it right, he could get that sneak. It isn't ideal. Obviously, as we said, you know, they want to play for the, the spawn kills, but he's just going to have to dive on that and reduce it. But meanwhile, someone from Curse has done oh. exactly the same. It's going to be Burns, and Burns is going to trade exactly the same route that he ran last time when he ran down the middle of the map and managed to get that sneak cap. There is a player in the base. It looks like that was Zuma. He goes down, going back over to Curse Black as they are staying alive here. 90 seconds left, 15 to 8. It's getting pretty close to that point, Ben, as we're going to watch the captain once again tipsy. 
ensuring that their base is clear before pushing out. Heads up play here in Blitz. So important to know where everyone is on the map. Turning back on Oracle mode. Here's Burns for you, and he's going to make a move up this left side. Burns with a minute left. Just playing passively. And again, he knows now those sneak caps just really going to be the thorn in Denial's side. You can keep getting them, but oh. there's a the big knife. You should be able to... Oh, oh. wow. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, Burns. All right. Burns that's here, that's how it is. Burns trying to get himself pumped up. The body shooting. I remember I, I asked Hastro why the body shooting was such a big thing. And he said, you know, from a, a player's point of view, it's just, it's just annoying to see. You know, when you watch you that kill You can't do anything and, back. Right, exactly. It's just you're like, sitting you're, there you're watching. sat there going, oh. <laughs> sitting there watching. <laughs> just, just watching. <laughs> All right, here comes Vex again. So... They're going to make this game look a little bit closer than it was, but once you saw Curse Black get that lead, they never looked back. Big captures from Burns as he was sneaky, but not only was he sneaking, he was picking up kills along the way, 24 and 15. Tipsy, the captain, leading the way in the first half, is going to finish with 26 or so. And Mochila, really the guy who's been shining in their first two losses, He's at the bottom of the leaderboard, but, but everyone good. else is stepping exactly. up. Exactly, that's good for, for Curse, because it shows everyone else has stepped up. And let's not forget about Enable's huge rampage at the start, of the, the, the very start yeah, of the game. Yeah, seven and one. Seven, seven points, three overall, and ultimately capped twice without dying. So a, a, a huge initial boost there coming from Curse. They make it 2-1 in the series, but it is still Denial who have the advantage. They're going to have to some sovereign domination next. And this is something statistically that both they pretty much identical on, you know, they're, they're very, very equal. So, in all honesty, who knows? I'm still saying I think Denial should take this. Still going Denial. I'm still going to go Denial. Anytime you go up 2-0, you should not lose that series. Exactly. If you do, you, it's you called a massive you. choke. But they're a young team. We'll see. Can they handle the pressure? Game four, Domination, is coming up after this.